lovely friends. Welcome back to the lovely Stranger Tarot or welcome if you are new here. Um, welcome to spooky season my friends. If you follow me for a longer period of time you know probably that this is my favorite season of the year and it finally has begun. And um, yeah I this reading is actually um, yeah what makes you attractive but let's do it Halloween and do it spooky. So we will see why are you bewitching to others, okay? So I have three groups for you. Group number one is the clear quartz, group number two is the sunstone, and group number three is the agate. If you need more time, you can post the video here and I will see you at your group. Hi, group number one. I hope you have a beautiful day today and if not that your day will get better after you have watched this video because we will take a look at you and why are you so bewitching to others, so beautiful, so bewitching. So um, first we will take a look at your overall impression and then we will go into the physicality, okay? And I forgot to disclaim this video because this is an 18 plus reading and um, yeah, especially the imagery, I mean I keep it PG-13 usually, but the imagery could be 18 plus, okay? so. Keep that in mind, but we will start with the overall um, impression that you make. Ooh. We will have, we have here the travel, willpower, and grieving. Okay, so I feel um, that you seem relatively unsteady to people. Um, in the first glance that might be a little bit yeah unappealing actually but because we have these cards here I just would say it's more like um, you overcome everything even though life was pretty hard to you um, and this is why maybe you are still um, searching for a place where you belong or a place um, that you can call home and or like even people so I feel like you are um, like this makes you to a social butterfly I don't think you are closed off because um, yeah we have these um, figures I mean she is alone you know she is alone on the ocean but she is like very open in her body language and I mean these people are grieving and I feel this happened to you like a lot of sad things happened to you you had to grieve everything and um, but you did you just grew off your grief you um, you used your willpower to overcome everything. And the travel card, yes, you probably are a loner. <laughs> you probably don't want to have friends even. Um, because um, you say, you know, like my company is actually best for me. Uh, my company is just like giving me the right uh, vibes, you know. And uh, I don't read friends because a lot of people betray, a lot of people lie, and I keep to myself. So, um, at least for now. <laughs> and by the way, like especially when I look in the viewfinder, this almost looks like a painting. They, they are very, very similar colors um, here on, on these cards. And this is like a bluish um, light. Um, yeah, mixture here. So um, your aura could be blue or your aura could be pure white, okay? And um, I feel you might be even a very good speaker even though it doesn't say, but the color blue, of course, symbolizes the throat chakra, which stands for communication. Okay, so let's go forward. So what makes group number one attractive? What is so bewitching about them? Wow, we have Zenith, she who prepares, formulates, strategize, de device, device, 
Um, so yes, <laughs> I mean, look at her. She is a warrior. So I feel um, you give off that warrior vibe, that um, restless warrior woman or warrior man. <laughs> I mean, warrior, I think, is usually a man. But um, you give off that vibe like you cannot be touched. This is probably... Um, yeah, this is probably a misconception about you. If people don't know you, that they think, well, this person has a very tough shell, very hard shell, and um, you cannot F with them, you know, <laughs> you cannot F around with them, and they will uh, protect themselves. You seem very protective, but this is like, um, this translates to be very tough. You probably are not because, um, yeah, you can be lonely at times and you probably um, put some trust into people um, who didn't deserve your trust. This is why, what makes you, like, yeah, this hurts you and this what was what makes you put on a hard armor or a tough armor here. But it's very appealing because you seem very strong and people... Um, look up to you uh, for your strength. Then we have She Who Frees, Carly. Liberation, <clears throat> unrestrained freedom. Yes, I mean this is the very fitting with the uh, travel card here. So um, she is also standing, I mean it's almost the same pose, do you see? So um, she is standing in front of the ocean and she's throwing in her chains, you know, she had some restrictions on her hands. There are still wounds, you see that? There are still wounds. I try to, yeah, do you see that? There are wounds around her wrists and um, these are from the chains that she was carrying for a long time. So it could be, even if people knew what you went through, that they really admire that you didn't give up, that you finally uh, were able to free yourself and um, they totally understand that you don't want to be restricted again and um, that you don't want to be in these chains again so they totally admire your strength and we have she who grants wishes Alice or Eilis Wish, desire, hope. Okay, so this is um, a very new aspect because, yeah, people don't even see you only as strong, but they really admire that you never lost your hope, that you never lost um, the ability to, um, to await good things, to see the good in other people. Um, and you never closed your heart totally. So yes, it might be that you are a little bit reclusive right now due to the things that you went through, but um, you never closed your heart completely. So there, you still have hope for humanity. You still have hope that one day you meet the right people, you meet your soul tribe. But I feel you are in a recovery phase right now. And this is why you say no more, no more, um, no more lies, no more people, um, you know, screwing me over, nothing more of this. So, what makes group number one so bewitching? So I feel people who don't know you just see you're very tough. And people who know you a little admire um, your strength because you overcame a lot. Then we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel you already um, let go of the control issues. So this is in the past and um, you try to control everything. I mean, she is controlling the moon and earth here with her willpower. So I feel um, you overcame it, but now you're in the healing stages and you are softening again. This is, um, you know, like the heart armor, the, the tough armor, the heart shell is not needed anymore. And this is um, why it's almost like melting your heart. You were yourself 
melting your own heart and it's, it becomes very soft again. It's not like in the stages where you can be very open and um, let go of all the, the, the boundaries. And I mean, you should never let go of all boundaries, but um, it's, um, you, you, you uh, um, pulled up some walls and I feel like they are still up, but at least people can look over them already, if you know what I mean. So they're not like uh, so high, people uh, will not be let in. Um, so they can take a sneak peek into your insides. And then we have, give your relationship a chance and worth waiting for. Yes, I feel people, um, especially people who know you, they, um, they really see your potential and they understand um, that you need more time for healing and um, they wish and they wait for you, okay? There are people in your life, you probably know who I'm talking about, like there are some friends or some, maybe a love, um, a love interest who is waiting for you to open up very, very patiently because they see you have a heart of gold and when they wait and let you the time for you to open up yourself, then um, like you are really worth um, yeah the try. You know? There is not um, you. They 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 see you as very valuable. Okay, they see your inner innermost self as a very valuable person, and they really want to have a relationship. It could be friendship. It could be um, it could be coworkers. You know um, who see your potential. Um, as like friends and good people and they are just waiting for you because they see okay I have no chance if I want to break through this this armor because this armor is a tough piece okay so we will go with this one. Oh, one flew around we have Nunde truth yes you are um, I feel you are showing people the truth. You are just um, mirroring other people. So when people come to you, to you with a very good intention, so you will answer that with good intentions. When people come towards you with a pushy attitude, with negative things, you will just mirror this to them. You will give them their own truth. And like, this is... Um, yeah, what makes it very uncomfortable if they come to... Oh, I spit on the cards. <laughs> if, uh, if, if they come towards you with negative intentions. So we have Abol Nimba, Harvest. So yes, I feel, again, oh, I feel that, you, they, that the people who are waiting for you see you as the empress. They see you as really attractive, but a little bit guarded. So the empress is inside there, but you have the shell of um, the queen of swords, but inside you have this um, empress energy. Very beautiful, very um, feminine, even like, you know, sex or gender doesn't matter. Um, you have this feminine attractiveness so that you can attract things to you. And one more card. What makes group, group number one so bewitching? Thank you. We have Erzuli Dantor, uh, Etheric Quotes. So, yeah, again, we have these Empress vibes. You have the energy of a mother figure. Um, Oh yeah, if you have children, of course, like people see you as this very, very strong mother. It might be that you have lost your ex-partner and now you put all your time and effort into raising your children. This is what you live for. This is what you love. You know, your children is your everything. Um, and this is why people see you this mother type figure in, in you. Of course, when you're a mother, you are. But even if you don't have children, it's like um, you have this um, this tiger mother um, essence, you know? If, when you love something, like you will fight until death to save these people or these things. And um, I feel people are really, really drawn to this. 
So let's see. Now we go slowly but surely we go into the physical aspects. Your physical aspects. I mean I will take an overall look at all the cards definitely. But what makes group number one physically bewitching? Okay, we have for better and for worse. I mean both, like even the painting here. I think this is a painting of, um, uh, what's his name? Cupid? Cupid? Is it Cupid? Um, and like, I mean, every person in this picture is very attractive. Like, especially, actually him. I mean, she's also attractive, but she's, she's con unconscious, so. <laughs> but, like, this, this man is really, really attractive. Fit and um, naturally very, very attractive. This is Lilith in Aries. So, again, we have this fighter mentality, um, this untamed nature with Lilith, Lilith in um, Aries. Then we have uh, sweet sobriety in feelings. I mean, I go mostly for the, the aesthetics here. So, I mean, she is also very be beautiful. I mean, all the people, I guess, <laughs> are beautiful in this deck, but most. Um, but I feel like you really are pretty fit. Like your body, especially, is really fit. I mean, when I look at um, especially him and the picture of this Cupid. I mean, this is like a boy, maybe like a teenager, but um, like even he has like abs and stuff, you know? So I feel you like to play sports, you are fit or toned. Um, if you are a man, you might have some muscles, but um, if you're a woman, like you're definitely very nicely shaped, even though you might not be toned but you probably are i feel like 80 percent who is um, picking number one is pretty toned or sporty and you can, could play like a, um, a competitive sports like this is what people see how they um, get your first impression from or what they get your first impression from impression from <laughs> and we have the pro promise of unending love oh you could have a very nice booty <laughs> um, but you also could have I mean this goes for men or women but you also could have like a very nice um, like uh, the color bone is very nice and you you have a long um, graceful neck and your very nice collarbone and um, I mean maybe these are the same men but um, I mean both have curly or wavy hair black um, so you don't have to be black hair of course but your hair might have some texture or be very nice and healthy because, like, I really like the hair of these people here. One more of this deck. <clears throat> what makes group number one physically bewitching? Okay. Yeah, we have the garden at the top of the world. And again, we have, again, this very nice collarbone area or maybe nice shoulders also. Does she? I mean, we have a shoulder here. You can see her shoulders and she also. So I feel like this area here, like the shoulders, the collarbone, maybe even the neck, this is very graceful and very um, sexy, very round, especially when you're a woman. Um, but also for men goes like this area is very attractive so if you are a man then you could wear like open shirts 
where you can see maybe a little bit of chest hair or something that could be very attractive and again she has some uh, texture in her hair she also has black hair so yes it could be most of the viewers that are watching group number one right now have dark brown to black hair so very very nice so your hair really stands out i really feel you have very beautiful hair even if it's um, straight then it's very very healthy very beautiful and um, it stands out like from the crowd maybe you live um, somewhere uh, where all people have black hair and you have blonde hair or um, the other way around most people have light hair and you have dark hair so again we see we have this shoulder um, thing here but she also has like what I always think like she has very nice feet and knees and when I look at the other cards here so your uh, legs are also very pretty especially your knees and your feet um, you know some people have this um, like Squishy feet, I, uh, not, not feet, like squishy knees, um, and I have them too, so um, yeah, I really see, can see like pretty knees. Maybe nice calves, especially for the men, because we have um, this guy with his nice ass <laughs> and the nice calves. Yeah, we have the uh, five of... Um, chalices or cups yes the cups and again we actually have the same here um, with I mean when when people have seen you naked um, then they like especially when you are a woman then people have told you like you have very pretty nipples um, yeah so <laughs> but this is only for the people of course um, that um, yeah that have seen you naked already but again we have this shoulder that is like bare here so you have very nice shoulders again beautiful hair and also like your legs your feet are very very pretty so especially feet maybe people told you like you have so nice toes So we have the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Of course, the Six of Wands um, has to do with a nice bootay. So, <laughs> so maybe um, you have a nice booty, at least to some people, and um, that could be any shape. You could have like a small ass, big ass, <laughs> um, you know, any booty can be appealing and um, I feel also that you have this um, yeah this prettiness this is um, it's yes you are sexy yes you are erotically pleasing but I also feel that you look maybe you look younger than you are or you look just like this clean prettiness if you know what I mean it's not like you probably don't have a lot of um, like you don't wear a lot of jewelry uh, around your face like if you wear um, earrings then maybe smaller ones or um, you 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 put makeup on if you use makeup um, just like so that it looks clean and fresh and not like to alter your face too much and um, yeah, you look naturally pretty if you know what I mean so this is like very fresh and very youthful no matter the age here okay so group number one this is all I have for you thank you for spending your time with me um, I wish uh, you a very very beautiful spooky season come back um, this month of course I will have all the videos in that spooky theme I hope you like that and I hope you also a Halloween lover comment down below if you are or at least give me a thumbs up if you are a Halloween lover like me and um, yeah I hope I will see you very very soon bye bye 
Hi group number two, I hope you have a beautiful day today and if not, that it will be beautiful after this reading. So let's take a look why you are so bewitching, why you are so attractive and magnetic to other people. Oh, I just feel, yes, that was love. So, um, yeah, probably you have a lot of admirers. You are a very loving person, very sweet. Group number two, what makes them bewitching? Oh, my little rake here. <laughs> Lost something. Yeah, I made it myself, you can see that, but... <laughs> I find it cute, right? Tell me if you like it too. <laughs> so we have closure. Mm -hmm. And one more. We have new beginnings. Oh my gosh, like this is interesting. So we have closure and new beginnings. Um, it's almost like a story. So um, I really feel that you are very, very, um, yeah, very attractive uh, in pulling new lovers towards you. Um, so it might be that you had already a lot of people, like you were in a relationship with. Um, so um, you were just like a love, you love to love. Just say it like this, you love to love. You like to be in love, you like to be in a relationship, you might be a cancer. <laughs> so they always like to be in a relationship because they are ruled by the moon, right? And uh, they like the um, they rule the fourth house, so it's all about home and coziness and um, yeah about love and family. So that could be the case with you. I mean, it's funny that we have the closure and new beginnings just right after each other. So um, I feel that you like to. Uh, not be alone. So um, let's say you had a lot of relationships and um, like they were closed and then soon after like you had a new person. I knew people like this and I, it always amazed me <laughs> because I am like a total loner I can tell you. Like it's like when I'm in love that I'm so much in love that I cannot look at other people for years you know <laughs> and that goes uh, like you know when that breaks or something um, and I always looked to people in awe who can do this just like you know something ends and then two weeks later they have a new relationship and I'm like wow how they do this and I mean to find someone who wants to be in a relationship with you and uh, you want to be in a relationship with them like this is to me this is like specific science but there are people who just like are so attractive they embody um, almost like the Venus type you also can be ruled by Venus so you might have a lot of Taurus in your chart or a lot of um, Libra so that you are very attractive and a lot of people want to uh, be in a relationship with you. This is why you have so much variety. So if you say, I have never been in a relationship, then there are a lot of people that want to be with you in a relationship. They want to have a new beginning with you because they like there are so many people looking at you, admiring you from afar. Okay. So, uh, which deck should I? <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay, what makes group number two so bewitching? Engagement, again. So, <laughs> if you say, I never had a relationship my whole life, um, then this is what people want to do with you. They want to have you in a relationship, they want to put a lock on it, they want to um, uh, put the seal of forever on it. They really want to catch, snack you from the, the, the market and um, they want to tie you down, okay? And if you are having relationships, then yes, people want to be in um, 
committed relationships with you and it might be that you are not that way okay especially when I see these um, butterflies here then I feel you might be a little butterfly you like to um, enjoy the beginning stages you know the, the lovey-dovey beginnings and then you fly to another flower to get some nectar <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, that's totally fine. I don't judge. And, but other people, I think you are a heartbreaker. Oh my gosh, separation. Yes, I really feel you are a heartbreaker. I just said that. And um, like people are really, really sad when you leave them or leave their life or when you break their heart and tell them, telling them like, you know, I'm actually not interested <laughs> in a relationship with you, then they are like heartbroken. I feel um, maybe you don't even realize how many people want to um, be with you. I also like I had a friend and that was like, it was a running gag. Um, I mean, I don't say names. So if she would hear that, because this was a school friend, but if she would hear that, then she probably knew who, who I'm talking about, but I don't tell any names. So there was a friend and this was a running gag. Like the guys came up to her like, okay, uh, can I talk to you for a second? And then she walked with him away and we were like, uh, okay, another guy telling her um, they are in love with her. <laughs> and then she came back. Oh, he told me he's in love with me and we were like, yeah, okay. So they are um, people not even aware of how attractive they are. Yes, like you have a lot of chemistry. You probably smell very nice. Um, this is what I just heard. You smell so good. Um, you probably have this um, very um, intriguing pheromone. Like uh, maybe you have, like when you're a woman, you probably have a lot of estrogen. And when you're a man, then you have a lot of testosterone. So you smell very, very good to the other gender, to the other, to the other sex. I don't know. Like, sorry. <laughs> That's not to offend. I just really don't know what to say in that case. I, f I feel it's sex, but I'm not sure. Um, so, um, yeah, I feel like you have this chemistry, like this natural pheromone that is like um, appealing to people they just fall in love with you and they don't even know why I mean you are probably pretty or good-looking but it's almost it's more almost it's like they are so drawn to you and they don't even know what is happening to them so let's take a look further which one which one which one Okay, oh, we, uh, what I didn't tell, like, we start with the overall impression. I am sorry, I hope you're still here. We start with the overall impression and then in the end we will take a look at the physical appearance, right? So, um, right now we are at the overall impression. We have she who loved once, blue, fragile, secret love, rejection, yes. Like I said, I feel you are a person who loves to love. Um, maybe your heart was broken once and um, this, this could be also a case, like it's almost like a story. I see that in these cards a lot. So it might be that you once loved like really deeply with a person you thought they are the one for you and then there was a breakup and the new beginnings it's not coming yet because you are closed off. A lot of people want to be with you and you are right now just like, no, I need time to heal. I need um, play a space and place for myself, for my heart to heal. And all the people are very uh, so blue and so sad because you reject them. But yeah, it might be that you're not ready just yet. Or like I said, you don't even know how you, um, yeah, how you appeal to people. Then we have the, she who persists, Jocelyn, perspective defiant, persistent. Okay, so this could be an overall um, character, 
um, of yours that you are um, maybe like to this is maybe the case that you don't want something really committed so you just like to flirt you like to go on dates and to have flings but um, you you say like I want to have a career so I will focus on that or I, I want to have a degree in um, you know in that study and this is what you do you focus on your studies so um, this could be the case that um, this is why you don't want to be in a committed relationship so there are many reasons that could be the case and then we have she who yearns Desiree yearn longing pine for maybe you also um, want to be like maybe you are searching for your own unicorn you know <laughs> like this is a thing that i always say um you know i don't want anyone i want my unicorn so you don't want anyone like coming and offering you something you want the real deal you want love you want um commitment you want safety you want uh to have a nice job you want everything and this is um, why you may be uh, put down, not put down, like shut down the people who are telling you like, ah, I want to be in a relationship with you. And you're saying like, okay, you don't even know me. Um, okay, you know, so slowly, slowly. I don't want to be with anyone. I want to be with my real love. Okay, so and that could be the case for you here um, that you really want everything. What is also weak? Go, we need standards. Yes, we do. Then we have Queen Ya Ya A Asente Wa A. I hope that's right. Level up. Oh yes, I feel um, you are growing. You are growing and ascending right now. Um, this is also a reason why you say, oh, maybe um, I stay single for a while, because you are just in a very yeah, in a spiritual ascension right now. And this is usually um, a very, yeah, energy consuming time. And usually don't, you don't want to associate in relationships that much. Um, usually you are in a hermit mode when you are ascending because uh, connections and relationships, they take energy and they take time. And in that period, you don't uh, have these um, resources, right? <laughs> then we have Azuli Dantor, Etheric Courts. Yes, um, you might be also very religious and you just say like, maybe you save your... Um, your virginity to um, someone you will marry or to someone special so um, it might be this case so that all the people cannot have you know some sugar from you because you say okay you can do that but I need a ring on that finger here okay send give me an engagement and we will you know that's fine with me and um, a lot of people maybe don't want that because they um, want the nice things but they don't want to be committed that could also be the case <laughs> and then one more card from this deck we this is the Queen of Sheba, Secrets Revealed. Do you have maybe a lot of Scorpio in your chart? Like they um, are said to be the, the revealer of secrets. So they, um, they are very, I mean, they are ruling the eighth house. So and the eighth house, also the 12th house, this is ruled by Pisces. Um, these are like um, the yeah they, they reveal the secrets I mean the Pisces reveal um, sorry rules secret the house of secrets but um, the eighth house is the revealing of secrets so the Scorpio is doing that 
um, I feel you are very, very smart and you are very determined. You know what you want to do with your life. You know what you, you have standards and this is absolutely great and you know your worth and this is um, what maybe people intimidates. But they are also so inclined, also Scorpio is very attractive, very sexy and um, they are so inclined that they try to come into your circle and they are um, heartbroken when you say like no, I'm sorry. <laughs> when you draw your boundaries like you will be very very firm and very um, concise with that. So now um, we want to take a look at your physicality. I mean, let me take a look. I have the feeling that you're very graceful and you seem um, almost cat-like and yeah, uh, how do I say? Like in Germany we have a very nice word um, that's called Anschmiegsam, but it's um, Probably nothing that you know of like because it's very hard to translate. It's just like being very um, Physical but not in a sexual way. It's more like oh, we like to cuddle something like this So maybe you like to cuddle. maybe this is why um, people think that um, You want something from them, but you really don't it's just because that you really like to um, yeah, you like physical contact. We have the lover, no, sorry, the lower and the higher self. Okay, so you have um, probably a very nice butt. You cannot see that because this is so small. There is a little, like a little her and then there is a big her so um and she has like a very very nice butt here you can see it in this picture but in this one and she has very long legs so this could be that you have a nice bottom and very long legs yeah she also she is um also very slim has um, long legs so you could be very slim with um, long limbs so with long arms long um, long legs I mean like the model type the model type but you also could be um, a little bit more curvy but that makes you almost like um, so warm and like motherly almost okay I mean just like her she is more curvy and um, she has like um, yeah bigger breasts and she is all in all more curvy and this is the freedom to be yourself you might have like um, a very intense gaze your eyes might be striking have a striking color or um, your eyes have um, an unusual shape or your eyebrows have an unusual shape or it's just that you have a lot of pride in your gaze we have two times Venus I think I said you might have a lot of Venus in your chart this is Venus in uh, Sagittarius and Venus in um, Capricorn. And the Sun in Scorpio. Sun in Scorpio we have here. And here we have the promises of unending love. This is the Moon in uh, Gemini. And again, like, I mean, when I look at his, like, he has such a nice ass. Like... My my friends, like if I meet a person with that ass, I will definitely take a look here, okay? And he also has like very nice long legs, also nice calves. So it really might be that you have very, very nice legs. Um, if they are not necessarily very slim, then they are very toned. You might have nice muscles, nice calf muscles, and overall very... Um, like um, smooth legs, very nice shaped legs, so very, very pretty legs overall. 
So also your uh, boobs, <laughs> they, your boobs could be um, very big. They don't have to. We also have her. She don't has um, a lot of like a lot of chest or breast, but she has a lot of uh, breast. She has. She has. So um, it's almost like she reminds me of Kate Winslet in Titanic. So you might have this um, hourglass figure with a lot of boobs. Um, or you might have like more slim figure and then probably your legs are very long and lean. Okay, so What is bewitching about pile 2 physically? Ooh, when you're a man then you definitely have some abs but again, we have here her boobs. So your boobs, whether they are big or uh, small, if you are a woman or if you are female, then they are really, really nice. Okay, and if you are a man or if you are male, then you have nice abs. Also nice chest area. So breast, breast or chest area is very nice with you. Again, we have this legs here. And the male also has very nice muscular arms. And she is also like a little bit more fleshy. She's not that thin. Oh, we have death. So yes, you could have some Scorpio in your chart. Um, and she, of course, she can be a little bit intimidating. This might be you if uh, someone tries to cross your boundary, then you might erupt just like the Vesuv, um, you know, just like um, a volcano and people might tend to be afraid of you. You might be so um, lovey and dovey normally, but when people try to cross your boundaries, then all hell breaks loose, okay? But some people seem to like that here because it makes you attractive, okay? So, and then we have the Six of Wands. And of course, this card is all about the bootay. So if you felt drawn to group number one, there are a lot of repetitions here. So, um, yes, I feel you have a nice booty. And yeah, your stare could be, I mean, maybe you have a resting bitch face. And some people seem to like that here, okay? And um, yeah, your boobs are very nice. So you might have like a very nice figure and a very intense gaze. Wow, group number two, you're hot, I can tell. And I hope you liked that video. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, because of course the, this month is like spooky. Like we have this spooky theme the whole month and I hope you like that. And let me know in the comments if you like these Halloween themed videos and I hope I will see you very very soon. Bye bye! Last but not least, hi group number three. I hope you have a beautiful day today and if it's not yet beautiful that it will become beautiful with this reading. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you in the um, intro that this reading is an 18 plus reading. Um, it's probably more PG-13, but the imagery can be 18 plus, so um, take that as a warning. And we will start now to see what makes you so bewitching and attractive. <laughs> Oh, we will start um, with the overall impression that you give off and in the end we will take a look at your physical or your physicality okay oh, the cards flew everywhere <laughs> okay we have first card is family <clears throat> then we have reconciliation new beginnings and healing. So it seems that you are a family person. Um, you you are forgiving and a very warm-hearted person. So you like to be with your family. You like to be with your friends. Um, 
and you like to, um, like I said, you be forgiving, even though you are healing yourself, you also heal others, okay? So um, we will take a further look with other cards, but right now the first impression is to me that you have a very healing aura to other people. Um, we take a look, maybe um, if you recognize that you might have been used um, even to do this, like um, people are almost yeah, sucking your energy because you have a very um, bright inner light. When I look at the cards, there is some light anywhere. Like here is some light and in her um, heart chakra, but it's almost going up into her throat chakra. So you maybe like to um, be a cheerleader to your friends and family. Um, you like to talk people up. You don't talk people down, you like to talk people up. And we have uh, this light here, you know, like this beautiful sun. Then we have this light here with other people. And this is, of course, the sunlight here. So you have a very, very bright light. And other people can see that from a mile away, that you have this bright light and it might be that other people yeah, used that light to pull themselves up and left you drained. But we will take a, more, a further look in with the other cards here. Um, I feel you are very good with people overall. You like to be a team player, you like to be in a group, um, you probably love your family very much, you do everything for your family and um, maybe also for your community. So this is not only your family, you see your community as your family here. So let's take this deck and take a more further look. Let go, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, I feel you don't have um, a lot of control issues. I feel you are a very giving person. Maybe that was different um, before. So then you are probably um, healing or you have healed your own heart. If you were a person in the past that had a lot of control issues, then right now you have grown so much and um, healed your own heart. Um, you also probably healed um, the relationship with your family members or with your friends. Then we have passion that's flipped. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Oh, you might be a beautiful singer. Like this, just, um, it almost was like a sharp sing when I read the sing, to sing with joy. Uh, maybe you um, are singing in the choir, a church choir, or you really love to sing, maybe in school, maybe you go to drama class and you like to do musicals, you have a beautiful singing voice. Wow, okay, I have to <laughs> I have to stand up for this because that flew so far away. <laughs> we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So um if you have issues with finances or career, then I feel still you make the best out of the situation. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, you still manage to meet your friends, then you will just um, make it up with creativity, right? So you will um, do things that don't need a lot of money, but you just need a little bit of creativity. You go to a park, having a picnic, um, you go swimming in the lake, you know, um, something like this. You just are very, very creative in doing things that make you happy, um, uh, also without money. And if you have like a stable career or stable finances, then it might be also something from your past that you already have healed. So um, it might be that people admire um, that you overcame financial struggles. I don't know why I have this issues today with uh, speaking, financial um, issues. 
and um, they are really really um, in awe of that that you managed to do that and that you probably were, were very poor in the past but now manage to have some really really stable um, finances right now my cats are fighting next to me <laughs> and um, yeah that might be very very attractive to some people let's go further with, with this deck oh. oh it's always falling underneath the camera <laughs> we have she who surprises breathes surprise discovery revelation yeah again like i feel you are very creative you like to um surprise people you might be very um maybe you like to do some surprise parties maybe uh like people you are really known for that when 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 someone wants to do a surprise party they always go to you and say like okay pile number three can you please help me what should i do to make it like a huge surprise uh give me all your secrets <laughs> and um like i said i feel you're very creative you know how to bring life to the party how to make life very um, pleasurable even without any finances even without any money just um, because you are very creative it could even be that you um, are do that for a job like organizing parties or something or maybe you want to do that in the future then we have she who hesitates Mora ponder delay confidence so um maybe you were an, a late bloomer so um this might be the reason why um, we have all this um yeah this old stuff coming into the reading so uh, maybe you had some issues maybe you uh, had a yeah, a not so nice upbringing, maybe you were very, very poor, and this is why um, something in your development was delayed. Um, maybe you were not dating a lot of people because you didn't have any confidence, because you had not so nice clothes, because you were poor, you know, like, of course, this is an example. Um, but there could have something happened in your teen years or your childhood that um, delayed your development or um, of course it could also be that um, you really needed time to build a confidence. I feel right now to that given time you are pretty confident um, but maybe you were not always so you had to really heal yourself and build yourself up in that regard. <laughs> your cards are flying out oh my gosh then we have she who flies volaris dare do reach yes i like i said i feel you came out of that situation i feel right now you are back on track you have healed yourself and um you have your own goals you will reach them because um, you let go of so many things that were hindering you in the past and were delaying everything and I feel now you are in a phase of your life where everything um, seems very glorious and goes into the right direction. And the last card of this deck is She Who Yearns, Desiree, Yearn, Longing, Pine for. So um, I feel you are also very romantic. <laughs> I got that feeling um, already in the first, with the first few cards. Um, you are very romantic, very um, loving, very um, warm-hearted. You could be a water sign, um, like Cancer or Pisces, I would say. <clears throat> but also, um, yeah, maybe, um, yeah, Libra are also uh, like very harmonious. But yeah, I feel you are very, very, or, or Taurus also, like very romantic and um, you really, really um, would love to have a relationship if you don't have any, okay? I really feel that, that this is like, 
this would really complete um, your happy life to say. <clears throat> What makes group number... Wow, this is really too fast for me. <coughs> we have Sekhmet, Wounded Healer. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry guys, I need to drink. <coughs> I was talking about your throat chakra earlier. Maybe that was the blockage. <coughs> Maybe that was a blockage um, that your throat chakra was blocked. This is what held you back, um, but you overcame that. Okay, we have Sekhmet, Wounded Healer. And again, I feel you have very, a very healing aura. Maybe you are in the profession of healing even. So, uh, and But if not, it's okay because you can heal your family, friends, with your words. You can even heal yourself um, with words of affirmation, with, um, with your really nice, warm aura. You are very soothing. Your aura is very, very soothing. Group number three. Wow. Your guides are very talkative. Then we have Yasigi, live out loud again. This is again coming back to the throat chakra. I feel um, in the beginning of your life or um, in your early earlier years, you were told to be quiet, to um, keep your voice low, to not talk when there are grown-ups and so on and so forth. And you healed that. Now you, you talk your truth and um, this is what made your life so much better. And I feel like people see that. Now they see you as um, a person who has their own opinion and um, you, you're not um, loud in any means. You're just very, um, yeah, you're just very determined to talk out, like to talk your opinions into reality, okay? And la the last card from this deck, we have Mame Kumba Bang. Speak up again. We have something with speaking and live out loud. And this is um, something that you are supposed to do, to talk your truth and to talk your... By the way, Sekhmet is also a very opinionated goddess, just <laughs> that you know. So I feel you are meant to be opinionated and you're meant to talk your truth. So if you are not maybe... Um, so if you are not um, he uh, healing in a healing profession, you could be um, in a communication profession. Something like, um, yeah, just like me, you know, reading tarot cards to other people. Or um, you could be a counselor, what also would combines talking with healing. You could also be a singer, like, uh, you know, singing. When you listen to a very beautiful song, you feel... A very specific emotion so this can also be healing um, or yeah something like a, a reader you know you read um, fairy tales to people also very very beautiful so um, yeah I feel that you are um, a very good very good speaker and people listen to you people are glued to your lips when you start talking because this is part of your destiny here okay and yeah I, like I said you're not loud you have a very warm and almost quiet aura and um, yeah it could be that you have a loud voice but probably you have a more low voice but you have a very strong voice so when you say something, then people will listen. And this is due to your own healing. And people see that. They find that so attractive. This is very, very, um, yeah, this is really bewitching because um, it's almost like you talk very low, but people stop talking. It's almost like magic, okay? So let's go to the physicality, to the physical aspects. What makes you attractive? What is bewitching about your physicality? Mm. 
group number three. Oh. We have, this is the uh, card came out for all three piles. The promising of unending love. I mean, yes, <laughs> this could be the case for all of you, for all my beautiful viewers. We have the promise of the 19. This is number one, so you could find your number one. And uh, when I look at this card, like I, what I uh, see, you know, what springs out to me is his beautiful bottom okay so he has a very very pretty bottom and also very nice legs very muscular and lean and when i look at her she has a very nice shoulder and collarbone area so um you could it doesn't matter which gender you are you could have very nice legs and a nice bottom or you could have like a nice collarbone shoulder area Maybe both, maybe even both. We will see. We have the purity of freedom. Yeah, I mean, she also, she has very, um, actually pretty wide shoulders, but this is almost like um, the model type. I think this is um, flamboyant. There are these types, I always forget like what the types are and I also forget also what types I am and stuff but I think this is when you look it up like the flamboyant type because this is the model shape you know like with this um, almost wide shoulders and leaner um, limbs, long limbs and stuff so um, you might have very long limbs, you might have almost like a model shape um, like very slim and lean but your shoulders can be prominent they can be very round like with hers or they might be even a little bit <coughs> wider but still very attractive but when I look at hers she also has a little bit more wide shoulders here right so um, you could have wide shoulders but um, people like that so um, you have very nice shoulders and when I look at her, she also has like a very nicely shaped butt. Okay, I mean, you cannot see it that much because of course she's sitting down, but it looks like this. Yeah, and the last card from the deck, I feel this could be her. I mean, when you look at her, she has almost the same bra and stuff. So yeah, again, she has also very nice shoulders, very nice legs and very lean. So um, I tend to say that um, most of these viewers who are watching this pile are relatively slim and lean with long limbs. When I look at the others here, yeah, okay, there are some motherly types too, but um, Yeah, it could be that you have bigger breasts when you are a woman, that you have bigger breasts, but your breasts, I feel, are beautiful no matter what. But it could be that you have like this motherly chest area, if you know what I mean. So, um, see this deck. And then I have to battle the sunlight because today I filmed relatively late. What is making you physically attractive? What is bewitching about group number three? Yeah, so you have beautiful legs. And again, we have the chest area. So your chest, like people look at your chest, no matter what size. Beautiful chest, beautiful long legs here. Yeah, and again, she has um, her shoulders free and she has very big boobs. So really, it could be um, that you are relatively slim and for your slim body, you might have extraordinary big boobs. Yeah, again, we have the boob area and I also think um, whenever I get this card, like she might be pregnant. So even if you are slim, but it also could be that you have a little bit of a belly, but um, it's sexy, okay? It's not um, 
yeah, people find that sexy because it makes you a little bit more um, cuddly, you know, like your body feels a little bit more soft, a little bit more cozy. Yeah, and again, like um, even when you are a man, I feel your chest area is very, very sexy. When you are a man, then you probably have wide, I mean, we have wide shoulders in a lot of pictures, so you probably have wide shoulders and also very nice, maybe muscular chest area. And as a woman, your breasts are very, very pretty, okay? So, Group number three, you are a hottie, I can see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you like that reading. Uh, leave a thumbs up, of course, for me and a comment if you like these Halloween style uh, videos because they will come all over October. There will be Halloween uh, themed readings, of course. And uh, yeah, if you want to, don't want to miss them, then please subscribe to the channel. And I hope I will see you soon. Bye bye.